Did you know that you can make a version of mushroom spawn using wild mushrooms and cardboard? While this might not be the most vigorous mushroom spawn you come across, it is a fun project for those looking to try to propagate their local wild fungi and grow that into logs. We use oyster mushrooms for this method. You can try other fungi, but oysters are aggressive, which leads to the best chance of success. I can't guarantee that every mushroom type will work, but for the cost of some cardboard and a few wild mushrooms, it's worth the experiment. Here's how you do it. The first step is to collect your wild fungi. You'll only need about six mushrooms, so don't go too crazy. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't say, please, please, please have a good idea on the fungi you're trying to propagate if you plan on eating it. You'll want to collect mushrooms that are still fresh. Once the mushrooms have dried up, this method won't work so well. Next step is to gather your cardboard. You won't need a huge sheet, but you'll want to make sure it's corrugated cardboard. Fold up the cardboard so that it can fit into a large tub or bowl. Submerge it underwater, weighing it down with a brick or another heavy object to ensure that it saturates. Upon submersion, you'll notice air bubbles leaking out of the cardboard. Keep it underwater until the bubbles stop completely. This usually takes about 20 minutes. While the cardboard is soaking, prepare your mushrooms. Tear up your oyster mushrooms into about 1 4th inch size slivers. Again, you don't need a ton of mushrooms to do this. Once your cardboard has become thoroughly saturated, remove it from the tub, bowl, etc. and lay out on a clean working surface. Separate the top sheath of the cardboard to expose the corrugation. Now make sure to keep the top sheath as you'll need it in just a minute. Sprinkle your mushrooms over the corrugation on the cardboard. The corrugation is necessary because it allows for a little extra air space for the mushrooms to breathe and grow out. Once you have a good distribution of the mushrooms over the cardboard, take the sheath you pulled off earlier and lay it over the mushrooms. Then, gently roll up the cardboard. Roll it up tightly enough to keep it together, but loosely enough as to not compress the mushrooms. Place the roll of cardboard into a large plastic bag, loosely folding the plastic bag over, making sure that air can get in and out of the bag while still keeping moisture in. Place the roll in a warm spot about 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. After about a week, you'll start to see white fuzz growing. This is good, this is mycelium. After about two weeks, the mycelium will have largely taken over the cardboard. Remove the cardboard from the bag and gently roll it out. You'll see more mycelium close to the center of the roll. This is the area that you'll want to use as your spawn. Cut about eight by eight inch square inches to use to inoculate a log in the totem method. It's best to keep the layers of cardboard intact to prevent any unnecessary exposure. You'll need at least two squares per log section. Now it's time to inoculate your log. If you're unfamiliar with the TODA method, please refer to the instruction sheet linked below or take a look on our website how to do it. We also have another video on this YouTube channel. The best wood type to use is the wood species that you found your mushrooms growing on. That being said, oysters aren't terribly picky, but aim for softer hardwoods. Take a look at the tree species suitability chart on our website or in our catalog to find a good match. Again, you'll need a plastic bag. We're reusing the bag we use to store our cardboard in, but you may need a larger bag depending on the size of your log. Open the bag and place your first layer of cardboard spawn on the bottom of the bag. Stand your log directly on that section. Then place the second layer of cardboard on top of the surface of the log. Lightly tie up the bag. Once more, tight enough to keep moisture in, but loose enough to let the mycelium breathe. Place your bagged log in an area that stays between 50 and 60 degrees. After about six months, you can move the log outside. If you peel back the cardboard, you should see that the mycelium has made its way into the log end. Come the correct fruiting temperature, your mushrooms should make an appearance right about the time when you found the native fungi fruit. Now, depending on the size of your log and the aggression of your oyster, this could take a wide variety of months. Anywhere from 3 to 24 months is possible. Good luck and have fun.